I'm going to work on here today is my 30 year old bench vise here. The swivel base broke. It's cast iron. I'm going to try and weld it with a 6013 welding rod and see how that goes. Okay, I got my vise unbolted there. What I'm going to do is take an angle grinder with a flap wheel on it and I'm going to put a little bevel on the edges there before I start welding it and what I'll do is just tack it and then I'm going to take a propane torch and then heat up the metal so it's not so much heat in one area that it'll cause a crack in another. Okay, I'm going to wear some eye protection here and go ahead and bevel those. Okay, I'm going to all positioned here on the flat surface. I'm just going to go and tack it at those spots with a wire feed and then I'm going to take a 6013 and weld it. Okay, what I'm going to do is heat it up with some uh, pro a propane torch. I'm going to get the metal on the sides where I'm going to weld it. A little bit warm, I want it around 400 to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. And then I'm going to go ahead and weld it. And I'll show you the settings I'm going to put on my welder. This is a DC welder. I'm going to start out at 30 amps. And I'm going to run it with electrode positive. So after I run my bead on there, I'm going to take a little hammer here and then pound on the weld to make sure that it doesn't cool too quickly and contract and then put a stress crack in over here. Then after I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and heat up the surface again and let it cool gradually so the brittleness of the cast iron doesn't crack in another spot. I was using a 1 16th rod and I ended up r running it at 50 amps. Okay, it's cooled down a little bit. Welds are not that great. They do make a iron rod with nickel in it for welding cast iron. You would still need to preheat it just like I did on this stuff here but they're kind of spendy and uh, thought well I'll see what results I can get with this I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up with a angle grinder and a flap wheel okay I got those three welds ground up a little bit there on each side I only have one that's really good weld on the other side it's questionable considering that it's uh, just a steel rod I think it did okay <laughs> 